So, Paul, you know, in the last section, we were just talking about communicating from space, both the requirements, the issues, the technical challenges. Now, something near and dear to our hearts is observing from space. So taking pictures from space. That's right. And it could be taking pictures pointing downwards to look at the Earth, or for our benefit, it could be pictures taken pointing outwards. That's right. And, you know, I have a gratuitous shot of the Kepler Space Telescope, one of my favorite space telescopes, that, as he said, was one of those that took images out into space. Now, look, there are a lot of different purposes one would, what we do, Earth observations, observing the Earth. And this is a non-exhaustive list of all the various things that one can do, from mapping bushfires, something very relevant to Australia, to um, urban planning, something that people may not really think about. And we'll talk later about some of the rationale for why you would do something from space rather than do it for an aircraft or on the ground. That's right. And so when we start thinking about how this, it actually ends up being some of the same arguments of why you would build all these satellites to do these Earth observations or why you would build all these satellites to look up. In fact, the rationales between this telescope, what you're looking at, why you're looking at, almost doesn't matter. That's actually almost inconsequential to the building of the telescope and optics in space. And in fact, uh, the Hubble Space Telescope um, was in many respects a repurposed spy satellite. That's right. This is not officially known, but uh, uh, the reason why it has a 2.4 meter primary mirror was because the defense contractor quoted a much lower price on 2.4 meter mirrors compared to either 2.3 or 2.5. It was a very so interesting goes. sweep off, that's right. And presumably that's because there are a lot of 2.4 meter mirrors in space already, which are pointing down, not up. And it was slightly- None of which I know officially, but this is what the gossip goes on about. That's right. And then more even unofficially when two extra ones were given to NASA as leftovers that matched identical to the Hubble Space Telescope from the National Reconnaissance Office. So, and, that, and I think this is the principle, whether you're looking down or up, in fact, is relatively almost pointless. Obviously, lots of great reasons, but it is the way the optics work, the way you have to build and the limits of building a telescope, resolution, diffraction, and then what are the benefits of going to space as opposed to building on the ground that really dictate why we observe from space?